Hey guys, Sandy here, and welcome to my July Kill a Kit with Style kit. Now, I have gone and pulled a bunch of my Christmas uh, things, because I am doing some Christmas in July. So, let's get started here, and I will show you uh, what I have pulled out. So, I do have a weird, like, mixed up, whole bunch of different Christmas stuff. Um, I did not buy new Christmas stuff last year. So what I have left is what I'm going to be scrapbooking my December 2018 photos that go in our chronological album. My December daily for 2018 is complete. So I have a couple um, one-sided papers that came in like recollections uh, paper pad. So I have this one right here that has like a chalky background with a poinsettia. Then I have this uh, very subtle, it's got just ever so slightly teeny little bits of glitter on it that you can hardly even tell anymore, this plaid. Um, I pulled out this one, oh, it has a random sticker stuck to it. This has very subtle glitter on it as well. This thing has been in my stash for a while, so I want to actually do something with it. Um, I have the deer, and again, little touches of glitter. I have this red snowflake. This came out of the Chamel um, paper pad. I still have um, some more of this as well. So I didn't pull everything I had. Um, this is the story of Christmas. It's an Echo Park from 2015. Now I'm thinking that I'm actually gonna use it more for these three borders. One, two, three here. But I also kind of like that. It's like a Christmas sweater. So we'll see. Um, I have this, which is from Little Yellow Bicycle. Um, does anybody remember Little Yellow Bicycle? So this totally screams Christmas sweater to me. Uh, 2008. Then I have this glitter uh, paper that's kind of this, it's really fine glitter. It doesn't like come off and it's kind of like in this candy cane stripe. Here's another, The Story of Christmas, and it has this red pattern on the back, and then uh, this gorgeous holly. Uh, Simple Stories DIY Christmas has um, definitions of Christmas words, and then on this side, holly. Uh, Simple Stories Very Merry. I love this. I love like this wood and the snowflakes. And then a candy cane stripe. And then we have St. Nick from Fancy Pants, and it has this stripe, and on this side, it's this really pretty um, decorative thing. I don't know. I don't know. This green's a little bit lighter. We'll see. We'll see what I end up using it for. Then we have this, um, which is, uh, I believe it's Fancy Pants, Merry and Bright, I think. Then we have this uh, green sheet of paper, no idea where it came from. Um, this is a Chamel paper, um, and this is Pink Fresh. I love this side. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This has blue. I'm not using any blue in the 2018, so won't be using that, but I love this side. Okay, so I also have some random bits of like cut up papers and small sheets. So I have this, this is a Tim Holtz. It's a glitter, again, the glitter doesn't come off. I have these six by six uh, plaids right here. I have this um, cut off, honestly, I don't know where it's from. I have this um, scrap of Buffalo plaid paper. Uh, this is from Mary and Bright. Now this has blue on it, but I'm probably gonna use it for the gray and white. Here is a piece of um, another version of that glitter cardstock. Here is a scrap of borders. And I have a sheet of vellum in the black and white. Okay, now this is a new to me um, pink fresh stickers. I got this in my pink fresh box, so I pulled those out, and I'm totally good with mixing silver and gold, um, especially at Christmas time. So I have some words. I have this acetate love word. I have some, like just, a, this is actually a coaster um, that has some gold in it. 
Like, like I said, guys, I'm totally, totally don't mind at all mixing the silver and gold. I have some stickers left over. Now, these were in my last kit. These are like little half gold balls. I love these things. I can figure out where I got them so I can get them again. I have some wood veneer stars, and this came from Target's Dollar Spot. I only pulled out two Christmas washies, and they are both plaids. One is more of a, like a vintage plaid, and one is more bright. So I have those two. I have some authentic uh, Christmas words. I also have the white um, Tim Holtz Christmas time rub-ons. Uh, the black ones I used up last year in my December daily. I have some Pebbles stickers. Now these are old. And it's interesting. You know, as you can see, AC Moore, it cost them 42 cents to buy these stickers, and they sell them for a dollar. <laughs> that was just on there still, so I thought that that was kind of like, oh. Um, I have these Echo Park uh, Brads still, so I'm going to try to use up those. Probably, again, not the blue ones. I have a card that says, Tis the Season on this side and Bah Humbug on the other. Not sure which one I'm going to use that for yet, but you know. Okay, let's get the rest of the stickers out of the way. So I still have these here. I have some uh, clear with black writing. I have a couple of word phrases left and then this sheet with Christmas words on it. Um, I have some flare. So these are um, peppermints, don't know where they came from. I'm pretty sure all of the rest of these are from Mary and Bright. Now these are from Brutus Monroe. Um, I used one of these in my, actually I think I used each one of these in my December daily last year where I colored them. So I'm looking forward to coloring again. And then I have just a bunch of random die cuts and chipboard that I pulled. Cause like I said, I've got this randomness of Christmas stuff that I have not um, used. So I've got all of these. I also I have two wish lists um, tags. I'm thinking about um, doing a page with like his and her wish list with me and my husband. Maybe we'll see. Or I might even. Nah, I'm not going to save this for my December daily because it has blue in it. Oh, it has blue in it. So in my December daily, my December project that I do each month, I'm very traditional. Um, so we'll see. Okay. I have these chipboard stickers from Very Mary is just a couple of them. So I definitely want to use those up. Um, and then I have a couple of sticker sheets. So I have Tis the Season from Echo Park. And again, not a whole lot left on this one. And then I have uh, the Story of Christmas. Not a whole lot left on this one either. So not, not a whole lot. So we're going to put that in there. And then um, I have one more thing. So this... I got, I don't know how long ago, in a kit with chipboard, and it came like this. And I accidentally ripped it. So I had two of these. I accidentally ripped it. And then I had turned it into a heart and put it on our Disney anniversary trip layout. And I've been holding this other one. I cut it on purpose. I've been holding this other one for a long time. So I think it's finally going to happen during this kit uh, because of the the Christmas uh, thing going on. And of course, I'll probably pull in extra embellishments and stuff from my stash, of course. Um, so, and then the last thing that I'm bringing in for my kit are these little wood veneer wreaths from Love From Lizzie. I just wanted to show you these because these are so, so beautiful. Oh, I broke it, okay. So definitely gorgeous and definitely delicate and I just like manhandled it and broke it. But look, can't even tell. All right guys, so this is my kit um, and I can't wait to get it killed for you. Please join me uh, for Scrappy uh, Christmas in July, Crafty Christmas in July, whatever anybody is calling it right now. Lots of people are doing uh, Christmas in July things, which is super exciting. 
and I promise I will scrapbook more with this kit than I did uh, my last kit because the last one, you know, was a dud. And just as a heads up for this series at the end of the month, I am going to be doing a giveaway with some brand new uh, Christmas products. So, um, I mean, brand new, never used, not brand new this year. So, um, if you're interested in that, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, um, ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I have a Christmas killer kit, uh, video posted. And in one of those videos, I'm not sure which one I will tell you about the giveaway. Okay guys, I will see you again soon.